Hey everyone. Alfred. <laughs> Fuck. We're back in Darkest Dungeon. Ooh, the Fulminating Prophet. Actually. <laughs> Witch Hunt. That's kind of rad. Alright. Thank you for warning me. Uh, so, as you can tell, I'm doing a... Uh, is there a thing that will give me more accuracy? Oh, there is. Well, thank you. and you need some as well. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. I... These are kind of crap, so I'm going to give you better ones. Um, I've got a little more drink left. You know what? I wanted to record some more. Besides, may as well to finish off my drink, right? Because I've got a very tasty drink, and I don't want to, like, have, like, do it over the night in bed. This raving creature had to be silenced. So, but what is this? So a fulminating prophet. I've, I've fought this guy before. He's the guy with the eyeballs. He survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back. How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? <sighs> the echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. Tittering. His tits. Man. Imagine if the fucking ancestors voiced by Tim Curry. Man, Ren for the Old Gods is a cool name, and the twist to put Ren for the New Gods is also really fucking cool. Bleed. Fuck it. Nice. Yeah. Hit him with that. You hit him with that. Ooh, wow. Getting pretty topped off, huh? So yeah, as you can see, especially when uh, made to be more accurate, the leper has fucking a, a superpower when it comes to hitting guys. But sometimes it's just it's not feasible for him to hit people. You can't hit him. He's kind of stupid. That's okay. We love him anyway. In the like lore, he's apparently like this like disgraced fucking king or something. Which is like so extra. Like, come on, you don't need to be a fucking like ancient king, dude. But he got leprosy and was like, well, my life is over. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. I guess I may as well go join the crusade that's going on in Darkest Dungeon Land. And he did. Which is why he's here now. Continuing on my minor thought process from last time. I was curious if you could just make a game like your Darkest Dungeon with any setting. Like... I mean, I don't know. Because there's not like a whole lot of death in... Like, Tolkien's Legendarium, for example. And the one guy who does die and come back... Is mentioned as being like a, uh... A special case. 
give them no quarter. Kind of like a Dark Souls enemy, you know? Like a common undead. And like, well, maybe that's uh, maybe that's fair. That we have the one in the universe, you know. And that it's a thing set up after his death, so like, Destroyed. you know, you can't have people willy-nilly coming back. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is like so fucking cool. So too will resistance. I, I actually want to play like all the Middle Earth games. I I want to play every at least every Lord of the Rings game, and that PS2 Hobbit game, and uh, the Middle Earth Shadow Shadow games. So like Shadow War, Shadow Mordor, because like both of those are like fucking cool. It is so. If you don't know the. There's a very cool system in those games called the Nemesis system, wherein orcs who cannot die permanently because they work for a guy known as the Necromancer. Sorry, I looked into the camera to try to drive the point home, but then I looked at my own camera to see that I was looking at myself in the same way that uh, a monkey would like look into a mirror to see if he's seeing himself, you know? Like, ooh, am I there? No. Anyway, so they like invented this thing called the fucking nemesis system and it's great and they fucking patented it so no one can use it. And so it's in those two games and it's kind of in uh, XCOM 2. Which is actually like the 6th or 7th XCOM game. But of the modern XCOM games, you know, the one, the rebooted XCOM games. It's, you know, 2, technically. I played XCOM about this time last year, so maybe I should do that again. Maybe I will. Keep the heat up, you know? Keep hitting them. I'm like, fucked. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill this fucking prophet, man. Oh, I don't have the fucking party heal. I feel like a ninny. The slow death unforeseen. You love to see it. Success so clearly in view. You know what? We may as well camp. Trick of the light. Top off. And let's get some buffs in, huh? So I got three left. Can I not use my diseases to cure your fucking leprosy, bro? Okay, is anyone missing health? You are.
The darkness holds dominion. Oh no, a bunch of miscellaneous grubs. Death. Stupid. Fucking grub attack, you know? Almost back to my regular party. I feel like the places that the enemy party attacks are purely random. How quickly the tide turns. Great, now I've got fucking Death's Door. Yippee fucking skip. Look at where my fucking health is. Another Great. Abomination cleansed from our lands. I've still got a boss to kill, dickheads. I don't know if that means anything to you. I would like to beat this game. In radiance, may we find victory. How did you get blighted, dude? Your whole thing is blighting things. How dare you? How so very dare you? A fortune. Waiting to be spent. That's fine. Shut up, Harry. Sorry, I know my eyes look as though I'm like falling asleep, but I promise I'm not. My lids are very. My eyes are lidded. But rest assured, I'm alert and ready to be bad at video games. Obviously, alcohol has its clear effects, but it also will sometimes impair with things like decision making. I, for one, don't physically believe I have the ability to wait to make a decision. So I rush into things. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Skeletons. Okay. Obliterated. Nice. Play grenade. Hell yeah. Oh my god. No, the true test. Hold fast. Fuck me. I have lost so many people here. Is this necessary, Red Hook? Did this need to happen? What went wrong?
Was it just the fact that I got unlucky and got a Vestal without the ability to inure us to nighttime attacks? And then we got attacked at night. Our, my guy just got blown back. And then my play doctor just couldn't keep up with the strife. God damn you. Yeah, I just want to like quit now. Unnerved, unbalanced. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Like I've talked about already how disheartening it is to fucking lose a high level player character. Low and driven into the mud. But, like, it feels so fucking bad. I would like it if there was a mechanic where you could, like, It'd be cool if there was a stealth mechanic. Where the less people you have, the more stealthy you are. So you avoid certain fights. And you have a high chance of surprising some people on some fights. And it would and it would leave you something to work with when you fucking have a guy die just randomly, practically. Because obviously that death was coming for a while, but like so many things had to conspire against her for that to happen. Injury and despondence. She had to fucking deny health care, even though it was readily available. Uh, she had to get attacked by a bunch of things that were like randomly choosing somebody in the back row, even though that doesn't actually make sense. And like, I know that true randomness does not mean that, you know, it always hits somebody who you think it, who, it always hits somebody different and random and new, you know? It's that XCOM shit where it says, like, 95% chance to hit, and then they miss, and it's like, but it's a 95% chance to hit. And also, there are some, though I will say, there are some things in XCOM that will straight up fucking lie to you. Back to the pit. Great, 50 gold. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. And, like, they can be beat. The fact that you fucking get stress when you back out of a mission, like... As though you have a bad reason to back out of a mission. Like, what are you doing backing out of a mission? It's like, well, everyone died. It's like, well... Wouldn't they feel relieved that they're getting the fuck out of here early? It's like, no, no, now they're getting more stressed. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. I don't think it's fair, is all. And I know that the game is not built to be fair, and there's a lot of things in it that are made to be like, I'm gonna do Farmstead because I just wanna fight. I don't wanna explore like fucking rooms and shit. I just wanna kill things. And I don't care what stands in my way. Slabs etched with certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the farmstead. The perimeter of the The miller, farms. lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. My gaze, however, was cast skyward 
and I marveled at the limitless profanity of the stars, wondering what harvest might come. What harvest might come? So yeah, this, as, as we discussed before, is mostly just like essentially bloody palace shit. It is just kill as much stuff as you can, kill as much stuff as you need to. Get in, get out, do it good, you know? Bleed. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Man, what if there was to be like a fucking Darkest Dungeon game in the universe of Blasphemous? Oh, yeah, this is actually past my Let's Play of Blasphemous. Blasphemous, so you can go watch that if you want to. Fuck you! How dare you! As the fiend falls, is the fiend falls, the fiend who blossoms. My faint dick blossoms. Great is the weapon that cuts cool. on its own. Is that a recent uh, addition? I don't remember getting healed on killing shit. Who'd be texting? What if I checked it like live on stream? Wouldn't that be funny? My phone was plugged in. Well, it is plugged in still, in fact. So it's charging, so I couldn't like get up. Oh my god! La di da, Rockefeller. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Crumbles. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. I'm trying to not give them any quarter, dog. Yeah, no quarter means take no prisoners and we're gonna kill everyone in the way. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Uh Bro, there, there's not, bro, there, we don't have any, well, I guess that's nice of them to, fucking, damn, stamp on the ground, no, How dare you appear to me, Italo brothers? Maintain the offensive. So I had this really, really stupid idea. Like this was years ago. Well, it was like two years ago. So like not like years, years ago. Slightly okay. I, I know that there's a lot of differences here, but slightly less than two years ago. Less well, like. like a little less than the two years ago. Approaches. Uh, I had this idea to fucking redub at least just the intro of Darkest Dungeon with like a Texan accent. Don't know why I did this. One of the files does still exist as well. Again, I do not know why I decided to make it. But I did. 
Uh, and I was like, man, if I knew anything about anything, I could fucking hack this into Darkest Dungeon, and that would just play every time anyone started the game. What if I recorded everything? That was back when I was, like, really into voice acting. So, like, I did a whole lot of voice stuff. It was also like, I was just, it was new that I had a microphone, so I was like, yeah. Cursed champion falls. Dude, I love it when their cursed champion falls. Oh, the. Can I do it sometime? Masterfully executed. Gotta say, Jack Starwood does sound like listening to a man trying to, like, fucking sing along to Scooby Doo Chase music while he's getting his dick sucked. Baby Hotline, please hold me close to you. Yeah, see? I'm not getting my dick sucked right now, but if I would, I could. It might be nice. Momentary oh my god. My roommate's been like doing dumb shit recently. A place of refuge. If only for a fleeting moment. I won't elaborate. He's been having girl troubles. And he and he talked to me and made like reference to it, and I was like So like did she roll over in the middle of the night and hit you with that fucking what are we? And he was dumbstruck for like 10 full seconds. And he was like, get out of my head. Which just really made me have to tell this fucking story. Like, the fact that he said, get out of my head is fucking hilarious. That's so funny. Stop hitting her. Very blue today. And damage turn. Should wrap up pretty quick. What's your a hundred and twenty blight resistance? That's bullshit. We can stun you. Well, it's 70 by resi uh, stun resist, so. Not as fucking c c crazy. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. No! Don't take another fucking Vestal from me, dude. Death is patient. It will wait. It will wait. That's the thing about death. Like, people who portray death as evil are so stupid. This is death is evil. It doesn't need to be evil. It'll get you eventually. It just has to. It has to wait. Or he. Like, there's nothing special about people dying. It happens every day. He doesn't really need any one soul in particular for the parameters of most universes. Um, he can just, you know, he can he can wait, you know? If anyone were to be able to wait, it would be death. Impressive. Oh my fucking god. Breath is a very narrow area. Isn't it? Isn't 
Sorry, I'm yawning. It is just a little past midnight, though, so... Can you blame me? You can do this, Osmond. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I don't have anything that can hit the fucking back row. I don't know what to say, man. Why couldn't you turn one move earlier? Oh my god. I'm gonna melt. Wait, what? Wow, that was like really clean. Munch. My God. Sorry, wasn't I trying to like not fucking yawn on camera? So ready to snuggle up in bed with my cats. At time of recording, my wife isn't home yet, and I await her return to me. What happened? I looked away and she's gone now. If I remember correctly, people who die in the farmstead don't actually die, and they'll eventually find their way back to the place. Pigs. I've decided I don't want to see. Diminished. Did I not eat any of that food? I feel like that would be a thing that would have kept me alive, so I guess I might not have done it. It only stands to reason. So full of booze. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. People see me playing drunk and they're like, um, you the was played test. here, you're supposed to hold fast man or expire. Finally channel the demo for Team Fortress 2. I'm drunk. 
ye don't have an excuse. That's great. Confusion, nerves, and panic. What would happen if the flagellant had like never whipped himself? Like, would he still be as tough? Or is is whipping what made him tough, you know? Now, did he need to whip himself to get ready for the violence? Another one falls. Or did like the violence get it ready for what? Like fall asleep on my desk. I've never done that before. I'm still playing. In fact, I'm even still fucking recording. Should I stop? I mean, this is how a life another one. Well, I guess the more that I play, the less I'll have, you know? Corrupted curiosities begging for examination. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I need to focus. I somehow doubt I'll be able to kill the Miller as well. solid ground once Or just the Miller. Oh my god. I'm so fucked. I can't keep this up, guys. I'm gonna have to cut the episode here. Uh, I've been Alfred, this has been Drunkest Dungeon, and boy, do I mean drunkest. I haven't been this hammered in a while, and I've certainly never recorded a video this drunk. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time, though. How silly and embarrassing of me. Gosh. Uh, thank you for coming. Bye.